severely beaten by off-duty Milwaukee police officers eight years ago, has agreed to a $2 million settlement with the city. Frank Jude talked about his case today. Tom Murray is live now to tell us what Jude had to say. Tom? Well, Mike Shelley, we're live at the police administration building, and tonight an attorney for this victim of police brutality says it's unfortunate that Frank Jude Jr.'s name will forever be written in Milwaukee's history. For the first time publicly, Frank Jude Jr. spoke about this $2 million settlement that he's received from the city. I mean, physically, I look okay. I look decent, I look, you know, but inside, internally, it's, uh, I'm still going through some issues. Frank Jude Jr. and his attorneys holding a press conference at the Wisconsin Club. On an easel, a picture of the injuries Jude suffered nearly eight years ago. I still have flashbacks and nightmares. I still have PTSD. I still work with a psychologist. Jude just received a $2 million settlement from the city of Milwaukee. Several off-duty officers beat Jude at a house party in Bayview, accusing Jude of stealing a police badge that was never found. Three of the officers involved are serving prison terms. Alderman Willie Wade on the settlement reached out of court. Uh, I think it could have been much higher. I definitely don't think it should have been any less. Jude's attorneys say this case exposed problems with the way the Milwaukee Police Department operates and the procedures used to investigate crimes involving officers. Some of which have changed, but some of which still need changes to occur. In response, a statement from Milwaukee police saying, we have seen a decrease in citizen complaints, use of force, and police pursuits, which can be attributed directly to a culture change at MPD. Now, Frank Jude Jr. no longer lives in Milwaukee. He's now in Oshkosh. Coming up tonight at 6, you'll hear what Frank Jude Jr. has to say about how he will use this $2 million he's received in the settlement. On your side, live at the Police Administration Building, Tom Murray, today's TMJ4. All right, Tom, thanks for the update.